Hi, Jim Conner here. We're in Vienna, Austria today at the B2B Software Conference, uh, viewing and meeting all of the new startups that are in the B2B sector. I'm currently with Philip Fumalo of VUAR. You presented today, you had a very impressive technology and you showed your uh, virtual reality and augmented reality application uh, designed for businesses. Why don't I um, ask you to give us a little overview of what your solution is? Thanks, sure. So basically what we did that throughout those last five years, we've been working on several augmented reality cases. And throughout those cases we developed, uh, we saw that there's various approaches that are similar from project to project. And we're like, you can't always start from scratch. So we decided to design an augmented reality framework, enabling uh, lighter skilled uh, developers also to get their hands onto augmented reality, serving their customers. Since I saw your demo, what I saw, and you mm -hmm. can correct me if it's not right, is you have what looked like a template, uh, a 3D template or a, a virtual reality template for that matter, that you're in a room or you're some environment, and then you allow the, the, the company's products to be displayed in that room or that template, and you can change the angle of viewing at any point for the user. Is that correct? Exactly. So we project, we used a camera picture in order to project that desired object, be it pools or fireplaces, even balconies or houses, to visualize them in the real environment, making it possible for the client to actually walk around it, to zoom in, zoom out, change materials, etc. Is What industries or what types of businesses are you finding quick adoption? Um, yeah, we, we've been trying several use cases over the last couple yeah. of years, and we've been in the industrial field, we've been in the real estate and uh, industrial development fields, and we've been in the retail sector, and what you can now, since everything picked up with marketing games and uh, generally games like Pokemon Go, the big hype last year. Now it's definitely the time of retail. Like we've been visiting exhibitions all over the world, furniture fairs, etc. Like two years ago, no one was even thinking about augmented reality. And I was just in uh, mid-April, I was in Milan, Italy at the biggest furniture fair in the world. And now you talk to people and every other company is like, yeah, we're currently looking into it. How long have you been in the company now? How for two years. Two years. It's been two years now. Yeah, okay. No. And you have some revenues as a company? Um, yeah, actually, the company was already started four, year, four years ago by my partner. And we're cash flow positive since three years. And now we have a turnover of uh, almost a million a year. A million a year in years. revenue. Yeah. Are you looking for investors? I know you're here at the conference. Exactly. It's like, uh, so we visited the Capitol on stage event two and a half weeks ago. And that was our first appearance on a public stage where we opened up our seed, uh, our Series A round. Mm -hmm. so okay, okay, very good. Capital. Um, so you have the technology deployable. Do you have any other, uh, in the AAR, augmented reality world, where you're showing uh, products basically in some type of a virtual re reality environment, what should we look for in the future? So as we created a template system, our goal in the first part is to be like, number one in that specific niche, which is retail, and it's huge, there's still so much to do, and there's so many use cases, so many companies, where it's now for us it's important to first deliver those templates that are desired by the market in retail, and then move on, move on, move on. Very good, Philip. Um, we may have some people in the audience who'd like to follow up with you. Please, obviously, visit us at www.viewar, view like the viewer, but with AR for augmented reality, dot com. Um, here you find all of our information, or I guess you'll find the information somewhere around this video or so. Do you have a, 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 a Facebook or Twitter or an email? Sure. I mean, at viewercom, our Twitter account, viewercom on Facebook. Basically, it's on all the social media channels that are out there. Also, see our YouTube channel. There you basically see all the projects we've been working on, all the features we provide, and makes it more easy to actually see what's happening with us. Great. Thank you for your time, Philip. I really enjoyed meeting you. I enjoyed the presentation today, and I wish you every success going forward. Thank you very much, and thank you very much for that uh, impressive keynote, that inspiring keynote before. Okay.